Good morning guys, welcome to a Monday and it is summer. It is literally summer again, I can't believe it. It's glorious, I feel bad for all the animals, they're all locked in. <laughs> they're locked in for winter and it is not winter. To be honest though, it does not look like anybody's locked in anywhere because not a horse in sight. Okay, this is freaky. The door is open. You guys, it's time for us to move, I'm not lying. It's time for us to move. If you guys heard all the crazy things that have been happening at this house, you'd be moving too. Hopefully the horses haven't let themselves out somehow. The gate for the horse field was closed, but that doesn't seem to matter if you close the gate. This house is like haunted. This morning I went down to let the goats out and the pigs out and say I'm gonna have this like special routine. I don't see a single horse, just a lot of horse poo on my path. All right, now I see two horses. This is why I do checks, you guys. You, you guys think I'm crazy doing 10 checks every day? It's important. Don't you dare chase my dogs. So all the gates are closed. Okay, there they are. There they are. And there's trouble. <laughs> all the dogs are, oh my gosh. Get up, get up on the check, get up on the bench. Get at, get up here. Nobody messes with that girl. Look, you guys, I got all the dogs with me because nobody likes honey. Ellie just ran off. But Molly, Molly, you're supposed to be like a, a brave dog. Molly is the most scared. Anyways, so this morning we went down, we did the horses and we have this routine. Let me get that bug out of your eye. So we have this routine and Sam goes out one door, I go out the door where the lights are. So I turn off the first light and then he opens his door to let the boy goats out. And then he turns on his flashlight and I turn off the second light. We do the same thing every single day. And today did the same routine and I specifically noticed that both lights were off because I was watching the pig, the boy pig. Don't you go chasing my dogs. I'm not joking. Listen, I told everybody that you were good around the horses, so be good around the horses. Don't be acting fancy. I know she wants to chase them, but she knows I'm here. She thinks of me as a boss. She does not think of Sam as a boss. Ruby doesn't like horses. So I had to leave Posey in and let her eat her breakfast because she doesn't eat fast enough. Uh, ah! Oh. oh my gosh. See, I knew it was gonna happen. All right, let's go dogs. Come on, we'll go this way. Come on, we're going this way. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. Can't go anywhere <laughs> without being chased off. I can tell the horses are missing the grass. Wow, we got a lady in here. She's pinning her ears at the dogs. She hates dogs. We got Penny over here. This is where she naps. She naps in the corner. I swear, my life, my life is like I can't ever finish a story. No, 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 come on, out. Oh, what the heck is that? Come on, birdie. <laughs> you, this happens to us all the time. Oh my gosh, you guys, too much is going on at once. Get out of the barn. Come on, let that bird fly out. There's a huge pigeon in the barn. I don't know why. There's just a huge pigeon in the barn. Anyways, back to my story about Posey. I went down 20 minutes later to let her out and the lights were on. So I said to Sam, like, Sam, what the heck? I turned off the lights in the barn. He said, yeah, I know. I saw you turn off the lights. Both of them went off. And I said, well, they were back on. Literally 20 minutes later, they were back on. And he said, it's a ghost. <laughs> and he believes it. And, it. and he says that there's an old man that's a ghost that lives in that barn. And that one day, come on, po come on, Ellie. One day it followed him from the barn up to the house. And then Sam went in the house and then this ghost went back to the barn. Hi, baby girl. Look at another poopy day. I need to come out here and clean up all this poop. Hello. Hello. I know. You want to go for a ride soon? I, I do. I do. I love a good ride. Are you feeling sad that you're not on grass? Hey, eh? They're all feeling missing the grass. But anyways, he says that there's an old man that's a ghost and that he turns the lights on in the barn. 
But today, I know 100% I turned those lights off and pulled the key. And this gate never gets left open. And when I came out today, it was open. So if our horses get free, it'll be a mystery. Bye, bye Penny. Anyway, welcome to today's video. It is Monday and it is glorious. It's gonna be warm till like Thursday. I am excited, but I've lost Ellie. She better not be eating a pigeon. Get out. Oh, there she is. Come on, out. Out, come on. I just wanna see if that pigeon is still here. It's still here. Do you guys see it up there? So I'm gonna leave the door open. Things are weird. Oh man. <laughs> comment below if you've ever had a ghostly experience and comment below if you want me to tell you about the time Sam and I bought our first house ever together back when we were young and it was for sure haunted and I found out later that this old lady that I'd been seeing all the time and uh, she actually lived in that house and she actually died in that house and yeah super interesting but comment below if you believe in ghosts and if you've had any kind of ghostly experiences. Sam's not very in tune to that kind of stuff, but he swears he sees this old man in our barn. So uh, I told you guys, Sophie has one more show. Stop. <laughs> that puppy is doing to Ellie exactly what Ellie did to that puppy. And it's not going well for Ellie. Ellie's starting to get really mad because the puppy overpowers her. Look, see? Like she actually hurts Ellie. Stop, right now. Stop, stop. Look how tall she's gotten. She doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Ellie for sure can't handle it anymore though. Like she likes, look at, stop. Look at all the marks on her. This way, see all those marks? They're not blood, but sometimes she does get blood on her. And I didn't let Ellie do it. Dad needs to control his dog. Anyway, there's this one renegade chicken. One, there's one renegade chicken and it escapes Sam's enclosure that he made for the turkeys all the time, every single day. But anyway, I wanna show you guys this. Like, look at how beautiful this is with the sun. Isn't it so nice? I wanna, well, we're gonna get, I just feel like this is like such a nice little spot to take pictures. And I wanted to do it at Thanksgiving and it was cool. just, cold and so busy but the hay is growing so fast you guys isn't it so nice it is looking so beautiful come on Ellie come on I could just come out here and run all day though isn't it so beautiful We used to go out down the path to get to the fields, but now we always come this way and it's my favorite. Wow, look at these leaves though. Like, I'm just amazed. <laughs> All right, anyways, yeah, Sophie said, I wanna take some pictures in the leaves. Sophie's like, they're gonna fall off. We need to look for eggs though, I'm missing eggs. I see two in there, do you guys see them? Yeah, another one way in the back. So uh, there are officially five eggs outside that we cannot get. We can't catch, we can't get them. Like, I don't know what's happening other than they're eating a bag of food in two days. My turkey is huge, look at him. He's uh, like a monster, so he's like a real turkey now. So uh, like I was saying, Sylvia has one more show and they're doing it so differently this time. They usually like the lower levels show in the morning, but they're gonna do the higher jumps in the morning and the lower jumps in the afternoon. What do you want to show? Crossroads. You do want to, why wouldn't you do? Inches. I think she's uh. But I would have to canter the 18 inches. So you're allowed to walk? No, you're allowed to trot or canter. But I don't think she's ready to canter a whole course twice. And what about a flat class? I did a flat class. Oh yeah, she she's. She pins her ears and tries to kick them. <laughs> so she needs a red ribbon. She doesn't actually kick them, she's threatened. She doesn't want to hurt them. Yeah, she doesn't want to hurt anybody, but she's like ready to defend herself in case that happens, something happens. But anyways, so the problem is that the costume class is first thing in the morning. And then the lower level jumping is like at four or six o'clock at night. So that's gonna suck. Like 
she wants to do the costume class, but she also doesn't want to stay there all day. Anyway, somebody asked me today if our horses get salt. And I wanted to show you guys that this is not salt, <laughs> but this is magnesium and we give this to our horses all summer long and they all love it. This is salt. It's got some dirt in there. Yeah. So they all have salt licks in their thing, but they also get loose salt in their bowls each night. I don't know, your dad has a lid. I don't know how it got dirty. And then we have grain in there. And we have grain in there. That's magnesium. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, magnesium is so good for horses on grass. I really miss the bench in here. I used to sit on it. It used to make me happy. What happened to it? Yeah, your horse. Uh, my horse? Wait, was it my horse? It was your horse, she pushes it over. <laughs> yeah, it was my horse, my horse wrecked it. Anyways, so I don't know if Sophie can do the costume class, but if she is allowed to do the costume, if she is gonna do the costume class, we have to decide, Sophie. Do you want to, do you want to go first thing in the morning do the costume class and then sit until seven o'clock at night? How about when we wake up at 4 30 and then go? And stay there for the whole entire day? Till seven o'clock at night? No, like 4 30 p.m. You wanna go at 4 30 p.m.? Well, it depends what time So I'm I'm good with that. I'm good with that, but then you won't be able to do the costume class. I know. I'm 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 not like I love Halloween and I love Christmas. Really love Christmas, but like I'm not creative in that way for Halloween, so it's just stress for me. And I'm not good at making costumes. Are you good at making costumes? I am. Yeah, I think she probably is because Sam is, is good at it and she's like Sam like that. So anyway, so did we decide? No costume class? Because I really have to work on the costume if we're gonna do the costume class. No costume class. Do you still want to dress the horses up though for Halloween? Because yeah. we don't go out for Halloween anymore. We are this year. <laughs> are we? Yeah, me and Gabby. So it looks like we decided, and we decided no costume class, and it's sad. But the girls are growing up, Sophie's growing up, and priorities, man. <laughs> Gotta take priorities. Priority is going and doing the show. I think. I don't know. I don't want to push the lady too much because she sweats. I think well, she should I do like, like sitting around a lot, so she I think like, she should not do poles. I think she should do cross rails. I think we should do um, 18 inches because that's what we've been doing. Aren't the cross rails 18 inches? Cross rails are cross rails. 18 inches are verticals. Are all verticals? Yeah. Then we're doing cross rails. Bro, I, I've been jumping verticals. <laughs> Like yeah, that's and she jumps, exactly. she actually jumps the verticals. She looks, nice when she, she looks nice when she jumps versus just hopping over. I don't know. Comment below. You guys know the whole story, how long we've had her, how much she's worked. You guys have seen her progress from the beginning till now, which is amazing. But let me know. Do you think 18 inches would be too much for her last show? Do you think we should stick with cross rails? Comment below. Don't you know that you're beautiful?